Welcome to Class Math Solution. Let us continue the next question. Integral x plus 1, x plus 2 or raise to 7 into x plus 3 dx. The choice is x plus 2 the whole raised to 10 by 10 minus x plus 2 the whole raised to 8 by 8 plus c. Second choice x plus 2 the whole raised to 10 by 10 plus x plus 2 the whole raised to 8 by 8 plus c. Third choice x plus 1 the whole square by 2 plus x plus to the whole raised to 8 by 8 plus x plus 3 the whole square by 2 plus c. The last choice x plus 1 the whole square by 2 into x plus to the whole raised to 8 by 8 into x plus 3 the whole square by 2 okay plus c. Okay how to do this problem? Integral of x plus 1 into x plus to the whole raised to 7 into x plus 3 dx. This x plus 1 we can write as x plus 2 minus 1 x plus 2 minus 1 into x plus 2 the whole raised to 7. Similarly x plus 3 can also we can write x plus 2 plus 1 into dx. Okay. Now this is in the form of a minus b into a plus b. a minus b into a plus b is equal to a square minus b square. That is x plus 2 the whole square minus 1 square means 1 into x plus 2 the whole raised to 7 into dx. That is a plus b into a minus b a square minus b square into x plus 2 the whole raised to 7 dx. Then we can open this bracket x plus 2 all square into x plus 2 the whole raised to 7 equal to x plus 2 the whole raised to 9 minus x plus 2 into 1 equal to x plus 2 the whole raised to 7 dx. Okay x plus to the whole square into x plus to the whole raised to 7 is x plus to the whole raised to 9 minus 1 into x plus to the whole raised to 7 equal to x plus to all raised to 7 dx. Integral of x raised to n is x raised to n plus 1 by n plus 1 that is x plus to the whole raised to 10 divided by 10. Similarly, x plus to the whole raised to 7 equal to x plus to the whole raised to 7 plus 1, 8 divided by 8 plus 6. That is our answer. So we can say that the answer is first A, answer A. Okay. Ready? Yes, please read the next question. Yes, read the question. Integral e raised to x into Integral e raised to x into 1 minus cot x 1 minus cot x plus cot square x cot square x dx. dx. The choice, first choice cot x plus c cot x plus c. Second so, choice e raised to x cot x e plus c. E raised to x cot x plus c. Third choice minus e raised to x cot x plus c. E minus e raised to x cot x plus c. The last choice. E raised to x tan x plus c. E raised to x tan x plus c. Okay. See, integral of e raised to x into 1 minus cot x plus cot square x dx. Here, cos e square x by predominant formula, cos e square x minus cot square x is equal to 1. Then, cos e square x is equal to 1 plus cot square x. Cos e square x minus cot square x equal to 1. Then, cos e square x equal to 1 plus cot square x. Then 1 plus cot square x equal to cos e square x. That is e raised to x into minus cot x plus cos e square x into dx. 1 plus cot square x. 1 plus cot square x equal to cos e square x or minus cot x plus cos e square x. We can take minus as a common term. That is minus e raised to x into cot x minus cos e square x into dx. Okay. That is equal to in the minus of integral e raised to x into cot x minus cos e square x dx. The last class we studied one formula integral of e raised to x into f of x plus f dash x is equal to e raised to x f of x. e raised to x f of x. By the property of integration, e raised to x into f of x plus f dash x equal to e raised to x f of x. Therefore, the f, the f dash x is the derivative of f of x. Then derivative of cot x equal to minus cos e square x. 
Therefore, this hands we could be raised x to pop x. You raise x cot x and one minus n is outside. So we can write this hands we could do minus e raised x cot x plus c. That is our choice is answer is c. Answer c. Okay. Ready? Yes. Then, <coughs> read the next question. Integral. Integral. Root tan x. Root tan x. By sin x cos x. Sin x uh, cos x uh, into dx. Okay, first choice. Root tan x. Root tan x. And second choice. Cos x plus sin x. Cos x plus sin x. The third choice. 2 root tan x. 2 root tan x. And the last choice. Root sin x plus root cos x. Root sin x plus root to cos x and plus c. Or plus c, plus c, plus c. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> yes. Given that. Integral of root tan x by sin x cos x. Root tan x by sin x cos x. See, we can rearrange this. Root tan x by sin x cos x means we can write like this way sin x by cos x into cos x into cos x dx root tan x by sin x by cos x into cos x into cos x divided by cos x in denominator cos x into cos x so sin x by cos x equal to tan x for root tan x divided by sin x by cos x tan x cos x into cos x equal to cos square x we can cancel this to root tan x and also 1 by cos square x equal to c square x that is c square x divided by root tan x into dx. Tan x and can, tan x root tan x cancel. Denominator becomes root tan x and, <coughs> and 1 by cos square x equal to c square x. Put u is equal to tan x. Put a u equal to tan x. Then du equal to c square x dx. So integral of 1 by root u into du. Then root u means u raised to half. U raised to half means this comes in numerator, it becomes as minus. That is u raised to minus half du. Integral of x raised to n is x raised to n plus 1 by n plus 1. That is u raised to minus half plus 1, half by half. That is equal to 2 root u, but we know that u equal to tan x. That is answer is 2 root to tan x. So our choice is answer is C. Okay. Okay, pass the next question. Integral. Integral. X square. X square. Into e raised to x cube. Integral x square into e raised, e raised to, to x cube. Into cos of e raised to x cube. Cos of e raised to x cube. Dx. Dx. Integral of x square e raised to x cube. Cos of e raised to x cube. Dx. First choice. 1 by 3. 1 by 3 sin of e sin raised to x cube sin of e raised to x cube second choice e raised to x e raised to x sin of e raised to x cube sin of e raised to x cube <coughs> third choice sin of e raised to x cube sin of e raised to x cube fourth choice 3 cos e raised to x cube 3 cos e raised to x cube plus c plus c plus c and this <coughs> here we have the value Integral of x square e raised to x cube in the cos of e raised to x cube. Here also we can integrate this term by using substitution method. That is put u equal to e raised to x cube. Then differentiate this term. du by dx equal to derivative of e raised to x cube. That is e raised to x cube. And derivative of x cube. That is 3x. Derivative of x cube equal to 3x square. 3x square. In the, the u equal to e raised to x cube, du by dx equal to e raised to x cube into 3x square. The derivative of e raised to x is e raised to x. After that, we have to differentiate this x cube, that is equal to 3x square. So, du by 3 equal to e raised to x cube in the x square dx. Okay, then substitute this value here. That is cos of e raised to x cube, u, and x square e raised to x cube equal to du by 3. Okay. That is 1 by 3 into integral of cos u. That is equal to sin u. So the answer is 1 by 3 sin u means e raised to x cube 
plus C. Therefore, our choice is answer is answer is A. Okay. First, next question. Ready. Integral. Integral. Sin x by. Sin x by. Sin of x minus alpha. X minus alpha into dx <laughs> equal to. Ax. Ax. Plus b log sin. B log sin. X minus alpha. X minus alpha. Plus c. Plus c. Join. Then, uh, then. Find the value of. Then, then the value of uh, then a equal to dash b equal, a equal to, dash. to dash. Okay. Mm. Yes, choice. Uh, sin alpha comma cos alpha. Sin alpha comma cos alpha. B minus cos alpha sin alpha. Minus cos alpha sin alpha. Minus sin alpha cos alpha. Minus sin alpha cos alpha. Cos alpha sin alpha. Cos alpha sin alpha. Sin alpha. <coughs> See, integral of sin x by sin of x minus alpha dx equal to a x plus b log sin x minus alpha plus c then what is the value of a and b c take this left side integral of sin x sin x means we can write sin x minus alpha plus alpha okay divided by sin of x minus alpha into dx here we have to consider this is equal to a and this is equal to b. Sin of a plus b is equal to sin a cos b and plus cos of a sin b. Sin a plus b equal to sin a cos b plus cos a sin b. Then sin x minus alpha plus alpha equal to sin x minus alpha and cos alpha plus cos of x minus alpha into sin alpha whole divided by the denominator sin of x minus alpha into dx okay sin x minus alpha cos alpha plus cos x minus alpha into sin alpha divided by sin x minus alpha let me consider this is a and this is b a plus b by c equal to a by c plus b by c then sin of x minus alpha cos alpha divided by sin x minus alpha plus cos of x minus alpha sin alpha divided by sin of x minus alpha into dx okay <coughs> that is sin sin x minus alpha will cancel and this is cos by sin cot and this sin alpha is a constant so we can take as a two terms that is integral of cos alpha means cos alpha into integral dx okay and plus this sin alpha is a constant here so we can take us outside that is sin alpha into integral of cos of x minus alpha divided by sin of x minus alpha into dx okay integral dx is equal to x that is this is equal to x cos alpha plus sin alpha into actually numerator is the derivative of denominator so this integral is equal to log of denominator that is log of sin x minus alpha okay see come to question ax plus ax plus b log sin x minus alpha here a means cos alpha therefore answer a equal to cos alpha and the log sin x minus alpha into b so b equal to sin alpha b equal to sin alpha so cos alpha sin alpha our answer is b that is choice is b that is cos alpha sin alpha. Okay, ready. Okay, ready. Next question. If x is equal to. If x is equal to. F2 dash t cos t F2 dash t cos t plus F dash t sin t F dash t sin t y equal to y equal to minus F2 dash t minus F2 dash t sin t sin t plus plus F dash t cos t F dash t cos t then then 
integral integral dx by dt the whole square dx by dt the whole square plus, plus d dy by dt the whole square dy by dt the whole square the whole raised to half or raised to half dx dx choice f of t f of t plus f2 dash t plus f2 dash t plus c b f2 dash t f2 dash t plus plus f triple dash t triple dash t plus c plus c c f dash t f dash t plus plus f2 dash t f2 dash t plus c last choice f f dash t f dash t minus minus f2 dash t f2 dash t plus c c given x is equal to f2 dash t cos t plus f dash t sin t and y equal to minus f2 dash t sin t plus f dash t cos t then what is the result of integral of dx by dt the whole square plus dy by dt the whole square the whole raised to half first of all we have to find out dx by dt dx by dt equal to apply product rule first function f2 dash t into derivative of cos t minus sin t and again second function cos t into derivative of f2 dash t that is f3 dash t plus first function f dash t into derivative of sin t cos t and then sin t into derivative of f dash t that is f2 dash t okay this the first and the last term are equal and are also opposite in sign then we can cancel this first and the last term then dx by dt equal to cos t cos t into f2 dash t plus f dash t into cos t okay or we can cos t cos t as a common term that is f dash t plus f2 dash t f3 okay. dash t f3 f dash t plus f3 dash t okay take cos t as common term for cos t into f dash t plus f3 dash t okay and similarly we have to find out dy by dt that is dy by dt equal to here also we have to apply product rule dy by dt equal to first two function minus f dash t f2 dash t into the derivative of sin t that is cos t plus second minus sin t into minus sin t into derivative of f2 dash t that is f3 dash t first function minus f2 dash t into derivative of sin t cos t minus sin t into derivative of f2 dash t f3 dash t plus first function f dash t into derivative of cos t sin t minus sin t and again plus cos t into derivative of f dash t f2 dash t f dash t into derivative of cos t minus sin t cos t into f2 dash t here also we can cancel these two terms this f2 dash first term and last term cancel that is equal to minus sin t into f3 dash t minus sin t into f dash t okay take f sin minus sin t as a common term minus sin t into f dash t plus f3 dash t okay f3 dash t. then dx by dt the whole square dx by dt the whole square means dx by dt the whole square equal to cos square t cos square t into f dash t plus f3 dash t the whole square okay here also dy by dt the whole square equal to sin square t sin square t into f dash t plus f3 dash t the whole square okay dy by dt the whole square equal to sin t minus sin t the whole square sin square t into f dash t plus f3 dash t the whole square we have to substitute this value in the equation that is integral of integral of integral of integral of dx by dt the whole square dx by dt the whole square means cos square t into cos square t into f dash t plus f3 dash t the whole square plus dy by dt sin square t into sin square t sin square t into f dash t plus f3 dash t the whole square 
okay into d okay then these two are the common name then integral of f dash t plus f3 dash t f3 dash t the whole square out of cos square t plus sin square t here hot raised half is there so we have to put the hot raised half here okay here also put hot raised half okay cos square t plus sin square t is equal to 1 then f dash t plus f3 dash t the whole square the whole raised half dt okay then take this root what we can write cos square t plus sin square t 1 then remaining term integral of f dash t plus f3 dash t the whole square the whole raised half whole square the whole raised half equal to that term the root will cancel that is into dt f dash t plus f3 dash t the whole square into cos square t plus sin square t the whole raised half this is 1 and the whole square all raised to half can cancel then integral of f dash t plus f3 dash t dt then integral of f dash t is equal to f of t integral of antiderivative because integration is the antiderivative and f3 dash t equal to f2 dash t f2 dash t plus c that is f, f of t plus f2 dash t answer is a answer a okay The whole raised to 7 by 2, the whole by 7, minus 2 into x plus 1, the whole raised to 5 by 2, by 5, plus 2 into x plus 1, 2 into x plus 1, the whole raised to 3 by 2, 3 by 2, by 3, by 3. plus c. Second choice. 2 into to whole into, two into x plus 1 mm. the whole raised to 7 by 2 by 7 mm. minus mm. 2 into x plus 1 the whole raised to 5 by 2 by 5 plus 2 into x plus 1 the whole raised to 3 by 2 by 3 plus c and the third choice x plus 1 the whole raised to 7 by 2 by 7 minus 2 into x plus 1 the whole raised to 5 by 2 by 5 plus c x plus 1 the whole raised to 7 by 2 by 7 minus 3 by 5 into x plus 1 the whole raised to 5 by 2 plus x plus 1 the whole raised to half plus c See, integral of x square plus 1 into root of x plus 1 dx. This x square plus 1, we can, we can write x square minus 1 plus 2 into root of x plus 1 dx. Okay, x square minus 1 plus 2. This x square minus 1 equal to x plus 1 into x minus 1 into plus 2 into root of x plus 1 dx. Okay, then open this bracket. 2 into x plus 1 into root of x plus 1. Root of x plus 1 means x plus 1 the whole raised to half. Half into 1. That is x plus 1 all raised to 1 into x plus 1 all raised to half equal to x plus 1 all raised to 3 by 2. Okay. Into x minus 1 plus 2 into root of x plus 1. That is x plus 1 all raised to half dx. x plus root of x plus 1 means x plus 1 the whole raised to half x plus 1 into x plus 1 all raised to half equal to 3 by 2 into x minus 1 2 into x plus 1 all raised to half. Again we arrange the term. 2 into x plus 1 the whole raised to 3 by 2 into x minus 1 means we can write x plus 1 minus 2 e plus 2 into x plus 1 the whole raised to half dx. Again open this bracket. 
2 into 3 by 2 plus 1 that is equal to 5 by 2 3 by 2 plus 1 5 by 2 minus 4 into x plus 1 the whole raised to 3 by 2 plus 2 into x plus 1 all raised to half dx okay x plus 1 into this equal to 5 by 2 x plus 1 all raised to 3 by 2 into 2 minus 4 x plus 1 all raised to 3 by 2 plus 2 into x plus 1 all raised to half dx integrate this step the answer is simple x plus 1 all raised to pi by 2 plus 1 that is 7 by 2 by 7 by 2 minus 4 into minus 4 into x plus 1 all raised to 3 by 2 x plus 1 all raised to pi by 2 by pi by 2 plus 2 into x plus 1 the whole raised to 3 by 2 by 3 by 2 okay plus c then take this term 2 upon yeah. 2 2 into first step two. 2 into hmm. 2 into this step hmm. 2 2 and there is 2 is not the root of yes ok that is x plus 1 all this raised step to two. Uh, 2 is not <coughs> that is equal to x plus 1 the whole raised to pi by 2 minus 2 into x plus 1 that is also equal to we can write x plus 1 the whole raised to 7 by 2 by 7 by 2 minus 2 into x plus 1 the whole raised to 5 by 2 by 5 by 2 plus 2 into x plus 1 all raised to 3 by 2 by 3 by 2. Thus 2 comes in numerator here also that is equal to 2 into 2 by 7 x plus 1 all raised to 7 by 2. Here 2 comes in numerator minus 4 by pi x plus 1 the whole raised to 5 by 2 and 2 into 2 4 plus 4 by 3 x plus 1 all raised to 3 by 2 okay then our answer is this answer choice is b 2 into x plus 1 all raised to 7 by 2 by 7 minus 2 into 2 4 by 5 x plus 1 all raised to 5 by 2 2 into 2 4 by 3 x plus 1 all raised to 3 by 2 you can take this to us a common term take to us outside then the answer equal to x plus 1 all raised to 7 by 2 by 7 and minus 2 by 5 x plus 1 all raised to 5 and 2 by 3 x plus 1 all raised to 3 by 2 plus c. Answer is b. Answer is b. Okay. Ready. log of x plus root 1 plus x square by root of 1 plus x square dx. Actually, we can take the here, we have to differentiate the term, then we will get the result. Then take this first term, take u equal to log of x plus root of 1 plus x square. The derivative of log of x plus root of 1 plus x square equal to root of 1 plus x square. Check it. du by dx is equal to derivative of log x 1 by x 1 by x plus root of 1 plus x square derivative of log is 1 by x after that differentiate this function 1 plus root of 1 plus x square that is 1 by 2 root of 1 plus x square into derivative of x square 2x the derivative of log is 1 by x then derivative of x 1 and derivative of root x 1 by 2 root x for 1 by 2 root of 1 plus x square into derivative of x square equal to 2 
we can cancel this to 10. That is 1 by x plus root of 1 plus x square into. Here also take the LCM. Root of 1 plus x square plus x divided by root of 1 plus x square. Okay. And both are like terms. We can cancel. That is du by dx is equal to this. Then du equal to dx by root of 1 plus x square. Okay. But dx by root of 1 plus x square equal to u. du. dx by root of 1 plus x square equal to du. And this is equal to u. P integral of u du. Okay. dx by root of 1 plus x square dx du. And this is equal to u. Integral of u du equal to u square by 2. Therefore, we can write 1 by 2 in u. u means log of x plus root of 1 plus x square the whole raised to half so all square plus c half of log of x plus root of 1 plus x square the whole square plus c choice is c answer is c okay ready Okay, next question. Integral. Integral. Cos x plus. Cos x plus. X sin x. X sin x. The whole divided by. Whole divided by. X square plus. X square plus. X cos x. X cos x. Dx. Dx. Okay, answer. First choice. Log of. Log of. X sin x by. X sin x by. 1 plus cos x. 1 plus cos x. Plus c. Plus c. Choice. Log of. Log of. Sin x by. Sin x by. X plus cos x. X plus cos x. Plus c. Plus c. Third choice. Log of. 2 Log sin x. 2 sin x. By. By. X plus cos x. X plus cos x. Plus c. Plus c. The last choice. Log of. Log of. X by. X by. X plus cos x. X plus cos x. Plus c. Plus c. Cos x plus x sin x by x square plus x cos x dx. Then cos x plus x sin x divided by take x as a common term. That is x out of x plus cos x into dx. Okay. Then we have to take x as a common term. That is integral of cos x plus x sin x by x plus cos x. Then we rearrange the numerator plus class type of denominator. That is, cos x means we can write x plus cos x minus x plus x sin x divided by x into x plus cos x into dx. Okay. Then take this cos x means rearrange as x plus cos x minus x. The value will not change. Adding x and separating x. And. Then separate into two terms. The first term x plus cos x. Okay. And the second term take minus x out of 1 minus sin x. 1 minus sin x whole divided by x into x plus cos x into dx okay then a minus b by c equal to a by c minus b by c that is x plus cos x whole divided by x into x plus cos x dx and minus out of x into 1 minus sin x whole divided by x into x plus cos x into dx Separate so these two terms, this by this and this by this. A minus B by C equal to A by C minus B by C. Then we can cancel both are like terms. We can cancel X plus cos X and also X also we can cancel. Then the remaining term equal to integral of 1 by X dx. Okay. And minus integral of 1 minus sin X divided by X plus cos X into dx. Okay. Integral of 1 by x that is equal to log x minus here also numerator is the derivative of denominator. Numerator is the derivative of denominator. The derivative of x1 and derivative of cos x minus sin x. The numerator is the derivative of denominator that is 1 minus sin x. Then integral um, if numerator is derivative of denominator then integral equal to log of denominator that is log x plus cos x. Okay, that is log a minus log b equal to log a by b. 
Therefore, our answer is x divided by x plus cos x. Log a minus log b, log a by b. That is our answer is log x by x plus cos x. So our answer equal to answer is b. Today. Okay, next question. Integral. Integral. Dx by. Dx by. Root of. Root of. One minus. One minus. E raised to two x. E raised to two x. Okay. <coughs> Choice. Log mod. Log mod. E raised to minus x. E raised to minus x. Plus. Plus. Root of. Log mod e raised to minus x plus root of e raised to minus 2x e raised to minus 2x minus 1 minus 1 plus c plus c okay b minus minus log mod log mod e raised to minus x e raised to minus x plus plus root of root of e raised to minus 2x e raised to minus 2x minus 1 minus 1 plus c minus 1 plus c C. Log mod. Log mod. E raised to x. E raised to x. X. Plus. Plus. Root of. Root of. E raised to 2x. E raised to 2x. Minus 1. Minus 1. Plus c. Plus c. The last choice. Minus. Minus. Log mod. Log mod. E raised to minus 2x. E raised to minus 2x. Plus. Plus. Root of. Root of. E raised to minus 2x. E raised to minus 2x. Minus 1. Minus 1. Plus c. Plus c. This is a lengthy problem. Integral dx by root of 1 minus e raised to 2x. For simplifying this problem, first of all, we have to multiply throughout by e raised to minus x in numerator and denominator. Then multiplying e raised to minus x divided by e raised to minus x into root of 1 minus e raised to 2x into dx. Okay. Multiplying by <coughs> e raised to minus x in numerator and denominator. Then put u equal to e raised to minus x. Differentiate this term. du equal to e raised to minus x into minus 1 dx. Or we can write minus du equal to e raised to minus x dx. Okay. That is the question we can write like this way. e raised to minus x by e raised to minus x into root of 1 minus e raised to 2x means we can write e raised to minus x all raised to minus 2 into dx. A raised to m, the whole raised to n is equal to a raised to m n. P raised to minus x all raised to minus t equal to e raised to 2x. Substitute this value. Integral e raised to x minus x dx equal to minus b u. Whole divided by e raised to minus x u in the root of 1 minus e raised to minus x u, u raised to minus 2. Okay. Then we have to convert this minus of integral du divided by u into root of e raised <coughs> u <coughs> root of 1 minus u raised to minus 2 means 1 by 1 by u square okay take it here minus du divided by u into root of u square minus 1 divided by u take it here u square minus 1 by u square it is the root of u square equal to u then we can cancel this u and u. So, result equal to minus du divided by root of u square minus 1. Okay. Then, put u equal to c theta. Put a u equal to c theta. Then, du equal to derivative of c theta means c theta, tan theta, d theta. u equal to c theta. Then, du equal to c theta, tan theta, d theta. For minus of integral of du, du means we can write c theta tan theta into d theta divided by u, u square minus 1 root of c square theta minus 1. We know that c square theta minus tan square theta equal to 1. Then c square theta minus 1 equal to tan square theta. That is minus of integral c theta 
tan theta divided by root of c square theta minus 1 tan square theta then they take its root which is equal to tan theta into d theta c square theta minus 1 equal to tan square theta root of tan square theta which is equal to tan theta then we can cancel this tan theta equal to integral minus c theta minus of integral c theta means integral c theta means log of c theta plus tan theta integral c theta means log of c theta plus tan theta c theta log c theta plus tan theta then c theta put u equal to c theta plus tan theta then remaining terms we have to write here minus log of c theta here c theta equal to u and tan theta means root of 6 square theta minus 1 root of 6 square theta minus 1 ok that is integral of sec theta means log sec theta plus tan theta but tan theta means root of sec square theta minus 1 so we can write log of sec theta means u by u plus root of u square minus 1 ok but u equal to e raised to minus x by log of e raised to minus x plus u square e raised to minus x all square that is e raised to minus 2x minus 1 plus c Therefore, we can write this answer equal to answer b minus log e raised to minus x plus e raised to minus 2x minus 1. So, so answer choice is answer b or choice b. Okay. But here put u multiplied by e raised to minus x in numerator and denominator and differentiate the term. Then we can cancel this term minus u by u into root of 1 minus u square. But u raised to minus 2 means 1 by u square. Then you take it LCM, this remaining terms becomes as minus of du by u square minus 1. After that, put u equal to c theta, du equal to c theta tan theta. Then in the cancel this c theta, c theta tan theta on both sides. This is equal to minus c theta d theta. Integral of c theta means log c theta plus tan theta. In that is tan theta means root of c square theta minus 1. But c theta means u root of u square minus 1. After that again substitute u equal to u raised to minus x. For minus log e raised to minus x plus e raised to minus 2x minus 1 plus c. For choice is b. Okay. Ready? Next question. Integral. Integral. Tan inverse. Tan inverse. 1 plus x by 1 minus x. 1 plus x by 1 minus x. Dx. Dx. Choice. Pi by 4 into x. Pi by 4 into x. Plus x tan inverse x. X tan inverse x. Minus half log 1 plus x square. Minus half log 1 plus x square. B. Pi by 4 into x. Pi by 4x. Minus x tan inverse x. Minus x tan inverse x. Plus. Plus. Half log. Half log. 1 plus x square. 1 plus x square. And third choice. Pi by 4 into x. Pi by 4x. Minus. Minus. X tan inverse x. X tan inverse x. Minus. Minus. Half log 1 plus x square. Half log 1 plus x square. Last two choice x tan inverse x x tan inverse x minus pi by 4x minus pi by 4x plus half log 1 plus x half log 1 plus x plus c put the plus c here or plus c plus c ok c <coughs> by inverse the term formula here we have the value integral of tan inverse 1 plus x by 1 minus x by using inverse by using inverse the term formula tan inverse of a plus b divided by 1 minus a b equal to tan inverse a plus tan inverse b. Okay. By inverse the counter formula, tan inverse of a plus b by 1 minus a b equal to tan inverse a plus tan inverse b. Here, tan inverse of 1 plus x divided by 1 minus x. A means 1, b means x, 1 plus x by 1 minus a b, 1 minus x equal to we can write tan inverse 1 plus tan inverse x. Okay. Tan inverse 1 equal to pi by 4, 45 degree plus tan inverse x. Okay. Substitute this. 
integral of tan inverse of 1 plus x by 1 minus x dx is equal to integral of pi by 4 plus tan inverse x into dx. Okay, that is separate the term pi by 4 into integral dx plus integral of tan inverse x into 1 dx. Here, integral of dx is equal to x. Then pi by 4 x plus. Here we have to apply integration by parts. First term into integral of second minus integral of derivative of first into integral of second. First function tan, tan inverse x into integral of second x minus integral of derivative of first step, 1 by 1 plus x square into x dx. First function into integral of second minus integral of derivative of first into integral of second. That is pi by 4 x pi by 4 x plus x tan inverse x x tan inverse x. Here I am going to multiply 2 on numerator and denominator. That is minus 1 by 2 into 2x divided by 1 plus x square into dx. Here multiplying 2 on numerator and denominator. Okay. Up at 2x by 1, by 1 plus x square. Actually, numerator is the derivative of denominator. But therefore, this integral equal to log of denominator. The final answer is pi by 4x plus tan inverse x minus half into log of 1 plus x square plus c. The last term, numerator is the derivative of denominator. The answer is equal to log of denominator. So our choice is answer a pi by 4x plus x tan inverse x minus half log 1 plus x bar. Answer a. Okay. Ready? Okay, next question. Integral. Integral. E raised to x into. E raised to x into. 1 plus tan x. 1 plus tan x. The whole by cos x. The by cos x. Dx. Dx. Okay. E raised to x into. 1 plus tan x by cos x into dx. By cos x into dx. First choice. Yeah. E raised to x tan x. E raised to x tan x. Plus c. Second choice. E raised to x sec x plus c. E raised to x into sec x plus c. Third choice. E raised to x into sec x tan x plus yeah. c. E raised to x into sec x plus tan x. Sec x tan x. Sec x tan x plus, uh, plus c. And the last choice. E raised to x into e sec x plus tan x. Sec x plus tan x. Plus c. Plus c. Okay. <coughs> e raised to x into 1 plus tan x by cos x. E raised to x into 1 plus tan x by cos x. But first it is here. Dividing by cos x in with a 1 plus tan x. We integrate of e raised to x into 1 by cos x. 1 by cos x. Plus tan x means 1, sorry, 1 by cos x into tan x dx. Okay. P raised to x into 1 plus tan x by cos x. Equal to 1 by cos x plus tan x by cos x. That is 1 by cos x is equal to sec x. E raised to x sec x. And tan x by cos x equal to 1 by cos x equal to sec x. But sec x is tan x into dx. Okay. 1 by cos x means sec x. And 1 by cos x sec x into tan x dx. See, the derivative of sec x equal to sec x tan x. By integration formula, e raised to x into f of x plus f dash x into dx is equal to e raised to x f of x plus c. Okay. By in the e raised to x into sec x plus sec x tan x. The derivative of sec x is sec x tan x. So our answer is equal to e raised to x sec x. The choice answer B. Okay. Ready. Ready. Next question. Integral. Integral. 1 by. 1 by. Sin square x into cos square x. Sin square x into cos square x. Dx. Dx. First choice. 
tan x plus cot x. tan x plus cot x. Second choice. Sec x. Sec x. Third choice. Sec x plus tan x. Sec x plus tan x. The last choice. Tan x minus cot x. Tan x minus cot x. Plus. Plus. <coughs> Simple question. Integral law. 1 by sin square x into cos square x square dx. 1 by decomitary formula. We can write sin square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1. 1 by sin square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1. That is, we can write instead of 1, we can write sin square x and plus cos square x. All divided by sin square x into cos square x dx. That is, divide by separate term. A plus b by c equal to a by c plus b by c. That is, sin square x by sin square x cos square x plus cos square x divided by sin square x cos square x into dx. Okay. Sin square x, we can cancel sin square x, then 1 by cos square x. Similarly, we can cancel cos square x, 1 by sin square x dx. 1 by cos square x equal to c square x. 1 by sin square x equal to cos square x dx. 1 by cos square x, c square x. 1 by cos square x, cos square x. 1 by sin square x, cos square x. Integral of c square x is tan x. And integral of cos square x is minus cot x. Integral of c square x, tan x. Integral of cos square x minus cot x. Answer tan x minus cot x. So choice is key. Okay. Ready? Hmm. Next question. Integral. Integral. Sine of. Sine of. Cot inverse x. Cot inverse x. By. By. 1 plus x square. Under x square dx. Yes. Hmm. A. Yeah. Cos of cot inverse x. Cos of cot inverse x plus c. B. Sin of cot inverse x. Sin of cot inverse x plus c. Tan of. Tan of. Sorry. Tan inverse c x. Tan inverse c x. Last choice. C inverse x. C inverse x plus. C. Okay, <coughs> sin of cot inverse x, put u equal to cot inverse x, then differentiate the term, du by ds equal to, the derivative of cot inverse x, cot inverse x equal to minus 1 by 1 plus x square, minus 1 by 1 plus x square, okay, that is du equal to, du equal, du by dx is equal to minus 1 by 1 plus x square dx, that is minus du equal to 1 by 1 plus x square dx. Okay. But that is integral sin u. Instead of cot inverse x, we can write u plus sin u into dx by 1 plus x square. That is equal to minus du. That is minus integral sin u. Integral sin u means minus cos u. For minus of minus equal to plus cos u. But u equal to cot inverse x. Finds the cos of cot inverse x. Therefore, our choice is A. Answer A. Okay. Integral sin 2x sin 2x by by 1 plus hmm. 4 cos square x 4 cos square x dx dx integral integral sin 2x by 1 plus 4 cos square x dx hmm. choice first choice minus 1 by 4 minus 1 by 4 log log 3 plus 3 plus 2 cos 2x 2 cos 2x plus c plus c Second choice. Log of, log of 2 plus 2 plus 3 cos 2x 3 cos 2x plus c plus c. And the choice c. Log of log of 3 plus 3 plus 2 cos 2x 2 cos 2x plus c plus c. And the last choice. 1 by 4 1 by 4 log of log of 1 by 1 by 3 plus 3 plus 2 cos x 2 cos x plus c plus c. 
See, <coughs> here is two answer is there. Here, here we, the answer is not here. Means this the choice is not here. Then we can directly substitute this value. Put u equal to one plus four cos four x. Then we will get another answer. But choice is different. But given and choice is different. So we have to convert cos theta means one plus cos two theta means two cos square theta. One plus cos two theta means two cos square theta. If you directly substitute this, you will get the answer. But answer is not here in the given choice. So, but choice is different. So we have to convert one plus cos two theta means two cos square theta. Then cos two theta means two cos square theta minus one. Okay. Then we can write sine two x. Sine two x is similarly sine two theta. Sine two theta means okay. Sine two x divided by one plus four into cos square x. Cos square x. Cos square max means two cos square theta means one plus cos two theta. But two into instead of four cos square x, we can write two into two cos square x. Two into two cos square x into dx. Okay. Four means we can write two cos square x. That is sine two x divided by one plus two into uh, two cos square theta. Two cos square theta means one plus cos two theta. So two cos square x is equal to one plus cos two x. Okay. Two cos square x means one plus cos two x dx. Simplifying the term, integral sine two x by one plus two three and two cos two x. Two cos two x dx. Any simpler? So I put the substitution. Put u equal to three plus two cos two x. Differentiate the term. Du by dx is equal to derivative of three zero two into derivative of cos two x minus sine two x into two. That is du by minus four equal to sine two x into dx. Okay. Du by minus four equal to sine two x dx. That is integral of one by u one by u into du by minus four. Okay, that is minus one by four into integral of one by u log mod u. U means three plus cos two x. Three plus two cos two x. Therefore, our answer equal to minus one by four minus one by four log of mod three plus two cos two x plus c. That is choice is a. Yeah. Answer is a. Yeah. Okay. Ask next question. Integral. Integral. E raised to two x. E raised to two x. Into. Into. One plus sine two x by. One plus sine two x by. One plus cos two x. One plus cos two x. Dx. Dx. Choice. First. Half. Half. E raised to two x. E raised to two x. Into sine x. Into sine x. Sine x. Okay. B. Half, Half e raised to two x e raised to two x into tan x plus c into tan x plus c. Okay. Third choice e raised to two x e raised to two x tan x tan x plus c plus c. The last choice e raised to two x e raised to two x into cos two x plus c into cos two x plus c. Okay. <coughs> Then e raised to two x into one plus sine two x by one plus cos two x dx. Okay. Let k u equal to two x. Then d u equal to two d x. D u by two equal to d x. Okay. Put d u equal to two x. Put d u equal to two into derivative of x. Derivative of x is equal to one. Two d x. Put d u by two equal to d x. Okay. Then we can write integral of e raised to two x means e raised to u. One plus sine two x means one plus sine u. Divided by one plus cos two x means one plus cos u du. Okay, that is e raised to u into one plus sine u. Du by two. Du by two. Sine u. Sine u means two sine u cos u. Whole divided by one plus cos u. One plus cos u means two cos square u into du by two. Okay, 
raised u into 1 plus sin u, sin theta. Sin theta means 2 sin theta by 2 cos theta by 2. Sin 2 theta means 2 sin theta cos theta. Sin theta equal to 2 sin theta by 2 and cos theta by 2. Similarly, 1 plus cos 2 theta 2 cos square theta by 2, then 1 plus cos equal to 2 cos square u by 2. Okay. But 1 plus sin theta means 1 plus sin theta is equal to 1 means instead of sin theta means sin theta is equal to 2 sin theta by 2 cos theta by 2. Okay. And 1 plus cos theta, 1 plus cos theta means 2 cos square theta by 2. Okay. Then divide some right. E raised to u into uh, 1 by 2, 1 by 2 cos square u by 2 cos square u by 2 plus with then 2 sin u by 2 cos u by 2 by 2 cos square u by 2 into du by 2. Okay. 2 sin u by 2 cos u by 2 by 2 cos square u by 2. We can cancel this 2 and 1 cos also we can cancel. Okay. Then take this 1 by 2 as a common term. 1 by 2 into integral of e raised to u into 1 by half 1 by 2 into cos square u by 2. Half cos square u by 2 means 1 by 2 into cos square by 2. Half c square u by 2. Half 6 square u by 2. Plus and sine u by 2 by cos u by 2. That is equal to tan u by 2 into d. Okay. Now we write this rearrange this term. That is half into integral e raised to into tan u by 2 plus half 6 square u by 2 into d. Okay. By integration formula e raised to x into f of x plus f dash x f of x plus f dash x dx is equal to e raised to x f of x plus c. Okay. The derivative of tan u by 2. Derivative of tan u by 2 equal to 6 square u by 2 into 1 by 2. Derivative of tan u by 2 equal to c square u by 2 into 1 by 2. So we can write this answer equal to half e raised to u tan, tan u by 2. Instead of u, we can write 2x. So final answer is half into half into e raised to u, e raised to 2x tan u by 2, tan 2x by 2, tan 2x by 2 equal to tan x. Then answer equal to e raised to 2x, tan x by 2. So choice is b choice <clears throat> okay yes integral integral e raised to x into e raised to x into c x plus c x plus log Log C x plus tan x. Log C x plus tan x. Dx. Dx. Integral of C x e raised to x into C x plus log of C x plus tan x. Log of C x plus tan x. E raised to x into log of C x plus tan x. Okay. Uh, choice. E raised to x C x plus C. E raised to x C x plus C. Second choice. E raised to x into c x plus tan x. C x plus tan x. Plus c. Plus c. Third choice. E raised to x into log of c x plus tan x. Log of c x plus tan x. Plus c. Plus c. The last choice. E raised to x into. E raised to x into. C x into. C x into. Tan x. Plus c. Tan x plus c. Okay. E raised integral of. E raised to x into c x plus log c x plus tan x. Then we can rearrange this term. E raised to x into log of c x plus tan x. Log of c x plus tan x plus c x plus c x into dx. Okay, rearrange this term. Actually, this c x is the derivative of log c x plus tan x. See, put u equal to log of c x plus tan x. Then derivative of this du by dx is equal to derivative of log x 1 by x 1 by c x plus tan x. And derivative of c x that is c x tan x. And derivative of tan x that is c square x. Okay. 
take this secx as a common term, then secx out of secx plus tan x, secx plus tan x divided by secx plus tan x. Okay, we can cancel this term, that is u equal to secx into dx. Okay, secx dx. But we can say that log secx plus tan x is the derivative log, sorry, secx is the derivative of log of secx plus tan x. Secx is the derivative of log of secx plus tan x by integration formula. Integral law erase x into f of x plus f dash x dx is equal to erase x f of x plus c. Okay, to erase x f of x plus f dash x. This is the f of x and this is f dash x because this secx is the derivative of log of secx plus tan x. Okay, so we can write this answer equal to erase x f of x. Similarly, we can write this is equal to erase x log of secx plus tan x plus c. Then our choice is c. That is his answer is c. Okay. Already next wash. Continue in next video.